Alright, so I had to check if this oil pan is leaking. Um, it actually doesn't look like it is. It's kind of hard to tell though. It looks like it might have a slow leak. But I think my transmission is leaking. This is good. Oh yeah, it is leaking. Let's go. Alright, next morning. It's dino day. So, I don't see nothing on there. Let me see if pour it up. There's nothing on it at all. And I don't see anything new down there, so yeah, that's good. Now I feel I will feel comfortable driving this crap to the dyno. It's only like an hour away, it's not even that far to be honest. But um you know can't have my trans leaking after I just rebuilt it. Spent eight hundred dollars on parts and then it gets fried I'd be extremely pissed <laughs> but um I'm just double check everything oil it looks like it's gonna be fine after I'll clean that off and then like cool it just a little bit just a hair low probably because it's leaking I can see it right here it's been leaking from the thermostat housing that's trash and it even goes all the way down you can see it's been dripping down the transmission so that's probably why I was thinking it was leaking transmission fluid but I think it's just cooling leaking from here making its way down the back of the transmission and then dripping from there um, it don't seem to be a severe leak, but it does need to be addressed. Finally out here out the dyno.
that's funny. Um, <laughs> for the street tune, this car was basically nothing but like a GSR with some bolt-ons or something. <laughs> it only made 178 wheel horsepower and 140-something torque, I think. Alright, so yeah, that's going to conclude this video. Um, thanks for watching if you watched all the way to this point. Um, what's this called? Um, yeah, this car has nothing but uh, full bolt-ons and a B16 trans. Um, it's done little stuff like balance shaft delete. But, I don't know, I feel like that's not going to really add no power. Um, what else? Uh, I believe we could have probably squeezed a little bit more power out of it because I have a two and a half inch exhaust. And I know um, these cars typically like a three inch exhaust, the uh, H22s or H2Bs, whatever. Um, it is on E85, so that's different. Um... Uh, but yes, it's just a stock stock motor. Nothing special. No head work done. None of that. No porting. Mm -hmm. Nothing like that. So, um, on a stock H2B, we made 218 horsepower and 160 torque. And one more thing I forgot to add. Um, my tuner actually said that... Um, this manifold does flow very well for uh, people who are wondering if it's worth going with this manifold or whatever. Um, I don't know because I never tested it with the stock manifold or the Euro R. But um, we made decent power with this manifold on a completely stock engine. And um, yeah, he said that it made, that this made a lot more power than his stock setup did. And uh that manifold does flow very well so um i think it's worth it if y'all can do it you probably should plus it just looks so much better look at that freaking tucked manifold look step back here bam it's gone you can't even see the manifold just see an intake coming up <laughs> that's a wild Definitely don't forget to subscribe. If you want to see more, there will be a lot more to come. Um, this is only like the beginning. I have a lot more in store eventually. But um, I guess as of right now, I'm going to enjoy the engine how it is. I still want to do um, some more stuff to the actual car itself. Um, brakes is one of them because these brakes are, are pretty trash. And now that the car is actually kind of quick, it's very noticeable now. <laughs> um, so, yeah. Just uh, stay tuned.